some live girl chat. So maybe, 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 maybe. Live girl chat. I missed you guys over the weekend. I know. So much I happened, know. Good too. to see you. Yes. All right, you guys, so make sure to head over to The Real Daytime's Instagram page and use the hashtag GirlChatLive to join in on the conversation. We love hearing what you guys have to say. So, did you all watch the big game last night? Yeah. Okay, yes. <laughs> did you know that according to a survey by the Workforce Institute at Kronos and Mucinex, an estimated 14 million people will call in sick to work today. Damn. What? Mm-hmm. Not us. I know. <laughs> it's being branded as hashtag super sick Monday. But don't worry, we all made it in on time. Yep. Thank God wow. for that. We first want to say congratulations to the Eagles Woo! and the city of Philadelphia on their Come victory. On, on the New English Patriots. It's been a long time coming. The night kicked off with the national anthem, and despite reportedly having the flu, singer Pink was able to power through. Check it out. been chewing gum during her performance. Pink cleared that rumor, tweeting, quote, it was a throat lozenge. Mm. And that wasn't the only thing Pink <laughs> tweeted last night. <laughs> Following her performance, Pink caught wind of a tweet from a salty user that said, quote, if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Pink sucks, and if you like her singing, you're dumb. Oh, well, God. Pink was quick on the clap back, tweeting, quote, yeah, but at least I suck while singing our country's national anthem. And you just suck by yourself on a dirty couch. Hashtag <laughs> winning. Yes. Yes. So, ladies, what did you think of Pink's performance? I think as a performer, mm -hmm. um, you know, when you sing, yeah. or when you perform, like when I do stand-up comedy, if you're sick, your adrenaline kicks in. Yeah. And I think she did that. She, you know, she really um, put her all into it, and it was really good. And that just shows you the power of Pink. She's yes. that yeah. type of performer. Mm -hmm. yeah. She just gives it her all. And let's not forget, not just through a flu, which everybody knows how a flu can throw you out. And you know, you want to get out of that. Yeah. Yes, and the People flu is die. terrible. It's right? like the super flu. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But not yeah. only that, she, I mean, her aerial, uh, her aerials show how she I'm has about that power voice. That's you say, no, areola. No. <laughs> <laughs> Where you going, Gina? No, I'm just talking about, no matter what, where she, when she's suspended in air and twirling upside down, right. she still has that throat. Yeah. I, years ago, had the pleasure of doing her makeup uh, for her, her, her uh, early career. And she has this presence that when you're with her, you just feel this immediate determination. Nothing gets past her. She's always been very sure of what she wanted. And she almost, she evokes that right into you. And you're like, I want to go out and conquer the world. Because she's yeah. got that. So her mm -hmm. tweets are very much pink. I love her. I will always yeah. Also, we want to give a shout out to Leslie Odom Jr. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Didn't he yeah. say? <laughs> OK, not going to front. Huge fan of Leslie. Leslie, we love you. Um, I think he did an absolutely incredible job. Unreal. The first time I ever saw or heard of Leslie Odom Jr. was actually, he was in Hamilton, you guys. Yeah. And he was incredible in that. And he has an album and all that nationwide commercials. Yeah. But he's phenomenal. He killed it last night. Oh. What I will say about Pink is I think she is one of the most underrated artists out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think um, not only is she in a powerhouse voice, she's got an incredible voice. You're bugging. You don't know what you're talking about. And second <laughs> of all, uh, how she is as an entertainer. Like you said, yeah. when she does her concerts, this girl is doing aerial performances, you know, mm -hmm. trapeze in her show. She puts her down. all into it. Yeah. You know? And she's a great songwriter. Yes. Mm -hmm. People don't give her enough credit for the way she writes songs. She writes hit records. Records, incredible songs, and I think what people don't recognize is how hard it is to sing that song. I was about yep. to say. It's a really hard song it's to sing. Nerve wracking. And if well. you saw when she cracked, she put her head to the side. I think she might have said, a "Yeah, you know." Word. Yes. But she was like, "Oh," <laughs> but she pushed through. But she pushed through. Yeah, she did. Yeah. She did. No, I've heard you, she did a great job. She did. I've heard some national anthems. Don't, that go, there. don't like... go there. And she knew all the words. Because I don't know. <laughs> If you sing the national yeah. anthem, there's something you you can know the words, but right. when you start singing it, you're like, oh crap! I hope I don't forget. It but happened to Christina Aguilera that's doing what I the see. Super Bowl. That's she, if you didn't see it, Google it. Big she game. Killed it. All right. So good for you. Pink. Speaking of musicians, the other oh. big highlight of the night was Justin Timberlake's halftime performance. Now Justin performed the medley oh. of his greatest <laughs> hits. However, the performance was met with mixed reactions, mostly due to Justin's tribute to legendary singer Prince. Wait, did you hear our entire audience They're just like, as you I said? Know. 
that. What was no. the sound again? Yeah. Dang. Well, Look, over the you, weekend. What were y'all watching? Over the weekend, a rumor that Justin was going to perform with a Prince hologram was bad. met with intense backlash from Prince's family as well as Prince's ex and longtime collaborator, Sheila E. In fact, Prince himself had been vocal against the use of virtual reality to create situations where you could jam with artists from the past, calling it, quote, the most demonic thing imaginable. Wow. Now, while there was no hologram, Timberlake did perform Prince's hit song, I Will Die For You, alongside a video of the artist projected on a big screen, and the tribute was featured the city of Minnesota, lit up in purple to honor the city's name. That which is Pretty. so rad. So that beautiful. was awesome. What Look did you think of the beautiful. tribute, ladies? That's that was one of my favorite parts, yes. actually. It was just so beautiful. My daughter would not stop dancing. Oh, she yes. loved it. I wish she I would have videotaped. Too. She does. Yep. She, was, she, she was on, you know, beat. <laughs> Ice clapping. I'm it was so great. confused what? by what people thought was wrong with the performance. Um, I don't... Okay, look, look. There. Let me tell you, I didn't, I didn't watch the big game, but I did watch This Is Us. And I'm not going to tell you what happened on This Is yes, Us. Yes, I know. Was, don't. Hold on. There was a comment that was made on This Is Us that I think really says way, the way Princess fans are feeling. It says, when you lose someone suddenly and unexpe unexpectedly, it hurts differently. And so Princess fans, you know, he, he, he was lost unexpectedly. Mm -hmm. And so they're trying to protect his legacy and things like that. And there was a lot of things happening between, supposedly between him and Justin. You know, this, there was some words said. There was an action done at a Golden Globes. So they basically felt like Justin shouldn't have done the tribute himself. Maybe he didn't have to use his image. Maybe he could have sang a song. Maybe he could have put Sheila E. and some of the um, Jimmy Jam in them to do the tribute. Ah, and that would have like been that. awesome. So honoring him. When I, that yeah. would have been cool, yes. though. But when I watched it, what I really noticed, just because I've been to a couple JT right, concerts, right, right, I'm right. a huge fan, what I noticed is his dance moves and his energy in it. You know how I, I've seen when artists perform or uh, rehearse in front of, in a studio in the yes. mirror? They just kind of move and they just like do the moves yeah. just gently. He was relaxed. Uh, he looked like he was doing that during the performance. He wasn't, because normally when you watch JT dance, he looks like he's popping, locking like the whole time. <laughs> yeah. It's so like sharp and succinct, but this looked a little easier. So I do notice that. Did I nail it? Okay, I saw that. And I'm, I, for me, honestly, I just don't love this album as much. So maybe the, oh, the song was a little harder for yeah. me to get into. Yeah. And um, Well, I think, yeah. too, it was like the whole Janet situation. We thought maybe Janet yes. was going to come. But what was interesting was a hashtag was developed. It was called J the Janet Jackson Appreciation yes. Day. Which and was that dope. started trending yes. more than, you know, the big game trend. So I, it's a lot of stuff happening. Well, and my 90s, my 90s self. <laughs> would have really loved to see him up there with NSYNC, too. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That would have been amazing. Yeah. That would have been amazing. I, you, I, I think he just solid. wanted to do him yes. himself, and I think... You know, it's like usually during the big game, there are, you know, you, you have artists that are featured, and he didn't do that. So. I think it was in his contract I had overheard. Oh, on the street? You uh, got word on the street? I got word on the street. Give it, give it, it was in his contract that he was the only person that could perform. So mm. I think that's the reason why. Well, then what happened have. with Selfie Kid? Selfie Kid came well, in. I know, but that wasn't yeah. a performance. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. So. And when, you, when I compare, to other artists. That's Selfie Kid. Right? Look, yes. he, he is but like... But why is he taking so long? Like, what was he doing? That's, that's, that's this one over here. This, yes. That would happen with her. No. You would I, know okay, how to get this the picture is the quicker. Thing. First of all, I know how to get my camera really yes, quickly. Yes, exactly. But number two, the weird part is, I would know that it was being documented. It's at the big game. Like, I would know we're going to have footage of this. I don't need yeah. to get my but phone. Maybe he was there. nervous. What's the point yourself. of a selfie? Because it's something you show your friends when at you're school. in the classroom. He's because we didn't all see him on television. <laughs> no, but, he doesn't know that. No. You know what? You're just talking about him today. Yeah. No, but look at the <laughs> meme that came out of the selfie. So basically, they had all oh, kind of no. memes. But it said, who? He I was can't. Oh. Justin, who now Justin I can't lie. Oh. I did think that. Literally, me and my friends were watching him. We're like, we're like, wait, does he not know, like, who just... Like, yeah. I, he wasn't singing along to the words of yeah. the song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think he was sing. nervous. He was fumbling. You know, like, you saw his eyes, like, oh, like yeah, what's going yeah, on? Yeah. But all he had to do was just swipe up and then press the little <laughs> camera. 
Oh my God, right? everything. Yeah. <laughs> What's so funny though, I, I didn't realize how different, how much time has passed when Justin had his big reign, like when he was mage. Yeah. Right. I'm living with a 16 year old right now because she's a friend of mine, she's staying with me. And we were talking about The Rock. She's like, oh my God, I love The Rock. The Rock is everything. I was like, me too, he's my man crush all day. <laughs> and I was like, I loved him ever since he was a wrestler. <laughs> right, The Rock, can you smell what The Rock is? <laughs> and she was like, wait, he wrestled? And I was like, come on, yeah, generation. Show. I'll tell you, that's why it's they important to have history. But can we also call out during the big game, after the big game, Kevin Hart? That was amazing. <laughs> oh my that gosh, was amazing. <laughs> but he did make fun of himself, yeah, the right? The best was the disclaimer yeah. okay. that he posted. That's, if you see the little, the little, the little guy that looks like a kid, that's Kevin. <laughs> is a bouncer, and Look he's down. telling Kevin, he's like, I know who you are, but you can't come up on the stage, play. That's <laughs> wow. so funny. Kevin posted so a video funny. this morning saying, kids, don't drink alcohol. He yes. was These lit. are the dumb thing, the dumb yes. things. That he was like, my wife was trying to tell me, don't go up there. I was like, nah, I'm part of the Eagles. I'm from Philly. Like, I'm going to get up there. And it then even during the um, NFL, the NFL Network, they had Kevin to come up, yeah. and he he dropped the f bomb <gasps> on live television. Ooh. It was like then they said, get, "Get done, Kevin." So Kevin he was really lit. was. He was drunk. having a good time. You yeah. Know? yeah, he was having a good time, but he did put out a video owning up to it, saying, good "Hey, kids, don't do that. Control yourself." So we had to. I just had to show funny. that Kevin. Yes. That was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> when you drink that liquid strength, kicks in and the courage. You don't know what could happen. The now. hard liquor, man. Well, the Eagles are not the only ones deserving of congratulations today. <laughs> Hours before the big game kicked off, it was announced that on February 1st, Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott welcomed their baby girl into the world. <laughs> the birth comes after months of is she or isn't she pregnancy speculation. However, Kylie took to Instagram with the post to clarify everything once and for all. In the post, Kylie says that the reason she chose to keep her pregnancy a secret is so she could prepare for the role of a lifetime in the most positive, stress-free, and healthy way. Good for her. Mm -hmm. Kylie apologized for keeping everyone in the dark and thanked her family and friends. Thank you, Kylie. For helping <laughs> keep her special moment as Good private as possible. Kylie also released a stunning 12-minute video which documented her pregnancy journey, including her baby shower and even the delivery. Ladies, do you respect the way Kylie chose to handle her pregnancy? Are you yeah. a little... Uh, it's her pregnancy. She can idea. choose to do whatever uh, no, she I, likes. Yeah, but she had fans, and I'm glad that she she um, gave an explanation to her fans. Not everybody understands. It's that simple, people. Just, just explain it. And that's yeah. what she did, and she delivered with that 12-minute movie. I love it. So yeah, that was absolutely was, beautiful. It was great. We wanted to hear what you guys had, Sam. Checking out your comments right now. At Jay Lamar, Shay said, I most definitely respect her for the way she handled it. I feel like she thought about her baby and not the money or publicity. Yes, yes. I thought that was great. I agree. I, I, I just, when you really think about it right now, like, the girl has lived her entire life exposed mm -hmm. as a kid. And so... For me, you know, um, of course, you know, I hear all the things about Kardashians. Like, do we really like them? Do they always have to put their life on blast, making everything a, um, a monetary situation? And I actually realize that, first of all, as, as you watch the video, you see everybody complimenting how great of a mother she is. That is the most beautiful thing a mother can do first, is protect your kin, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So I, I love that. And then the second thing is, she, as a Kardashian, or as a part of the a Kardashian family, family she changes the narrative. She, that was the one time that every, the, and we always say, if you really want to stay out of the camera, you can stay out of the camera. She when you see these it. secret yeah. shots from celebrities, they're not always secret, they're planted. She proved it as one of the most exposed celebrities in the entire world. She kept that a secret, yo. Yeah. We also got to, see, yeah. secret. We got to see Chicago West, a little yes. sneak yes. of Chicago that West. That was amazing, funniest part. There she is. Yes, oh, and insane. Yeah. Kim saying, girl, I have to prepare you for what your vagina's gonna feel like. <laughs> yeah. Did you see that? Yes. I always no. stuff, but that's real. I'm I, always asking Tam, I need to be prepared yeah, yeah. for everything. Tell me what and it's I gonna be like. Straight I, up. <laughs> I will say I this scare, though. about the Kardashians. I will say this. The one thing I do like about them is that their respect and love for family. Yes. Yes. And that's why I think they that's have lasted. At the end of the yeah. day, about they family. have each other's back. They're about family they and, you know, and they love each yes. other. And I think that's a good thing to show to people. So I, I yes. can respect them on she, that. Even that Very moment, blessed. there's a little moment where you see Kanye run after Northy, and it's so cute. Yeah. Just seeing Kanye like a dad, like, get over here. And it's just, oh, it's adorable. I loved yeah. it. I was soaking it all up, you guys. My uterus was wiggling <laughs> when I was watching it. Was it wiggly, girl? Yeah, it was oh like... Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I, went, I wondered, though, 
what she's going to name the baby. I know. Well, yeah, because she right? didn't say. She didn't say. Uh, we'll be waiting to find out what yeah. the name is. And Probably I will say Travis. this. Um, looking Junior. at the video, <laughs> looking at the video, her and her boyfriend look very, very much in love. Yes. Yes. And you can also see, you know, that she has a lot of support. Oh, I thought you were going to say she had a lot of money. She I does. Like that's Jordans obvious. Jordans go up on the shelf <laughs> next to the other one. That's, she had like that's Prada. Like, that baby had clothes for, for a day. Shh. I know. But you what's know. more than money is is support. Yes. Yes, yes. And that too. When you have yeah. and the money. Uh, a, a young girl money. deciding to yes. have a baby, that is the number one thing that they need. need they yeah. need the support from their family and their friends. Well, and she I, got you're it. very blessed yes. that you have that.